Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another shop talk video and today's video is going to be on the topic of why do shops overcharge on hours sometimes and why do some shops reduce their labor hours sometimes? Um, before we go ahead and get into this topic guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. It'll definitely help the channel grow. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. All right, guys, so on today's topic, uh, there's going to be a couple examples, and I'll try to give you guys brief descriptions on a few things here. So the reason why a shop may want to charge more than what the book says uh, for a labor rate or a labor hour is because the job that they're working on may have some elements that either someone was in there before and screwed something up or just you know mother nature uh, corroded something or something just goes awry or the car has been in something like a accident that has caused something to you know not be the correct way um, there's a lot of things that can happen uh, that'll cause a job to basically you know delay itself and make it a little bit more difficult or add more time and labor um, so that's one instance where mechanics you know will probably add to a ticket uh, on top of what conventional book rate is now an another example uh, that you can use guys is uh, shops reducing their labor hours uh, let's say a shop is doing a job that calls for let's say five hours of labor and they can do that job because they've done it multiple times for you know let's say uh, two or three hours uh, that may be a benefit fit that if the shop wants to they can reduce their labor hours and help out that customer reduce it on the ticket it all kind of depends on how you feel about it um, so now that we've kind of touched on why a shop may want to increase or why a shop may want to decrease uh, from the you know conventional standard table of hours on a job I'll give you guys a couple examples that have happened in my shop uh, the first example is going to be why I would want to increase the labor hours on a ticket when I'm working on a vehicle and the example that I'm going to use for this is a uh, Chevy truck that was in here not too long ago and this always seems to happen on any sort of uh, you know Chevy product guys or you know anything of that nature but what happened is the guy came in here for a wheel bearing typically I charge about an hour worth of labor to replace a wheel bearing uh, on you know most trucks depending on what kind of truck it is and stuff like that but this particular Silverado was uh, you know like I said like an hour of labor um, when I got the truck up in the air I noticed that the frame was really rusted I went ahead and I took off the wheel and I saw that the bolts holding on the wheel bearing uh, looked like they were rounded out um, almost as if you know like salt had taken its course and just eaten through them and then I also noticed that the bearing was pretty crusty and I knew it was going to be fused to that knuckle so it's going to be a pain to get it off so before I went ahead and I did anything I called the customer and I said hey listen I know I quoted you an hour but this is a situation that I'm in uh, what I'm dealing with I may be projecting about an added hour to two hours on this ticket so I may have to wind up adding an hour or two for a total of either three hours or two hours on this job depending on how everything goes and uh, I always make sure I call the customer before I go ahead and do anything like this guys because if the customer just flat out says no I can't afford it or I don't want to do it then you know it stops right there in this scenario the customer said okay I completely understand I know my truck is a little rusty he's like try to keep it down to a minimum if you can but I told him I was like listen I promise you that I, I doubt it's gonna go over three hours total for the whole job and I quoted him what three hours would be with everything and he was like okay I could live with that if that's the worst case um, and I was like okay sounds good so uh, I went ahead and I did the job you know um, you know I think it, I added about another hour I was able to get off the bolts and you know beat off the bearing took me a little bit but you know I was able to bill accordingly now the way I do this guys is quite simple if uh, let's say the job pays an hour and I have let's say an hour and 45 minutes on it I'm just gonna build two hours on it um, I always round up so as soon as the labor passes that 30 minute marker uh, I'll basically round up to the next hour so if uh, let's say I worked on your truck for an hour and a half automatically it's billed at two hours um, I don't go back or keep it at that um, I'm always gonna round it up and let's say if I worked on your truck or car and it reaches let's say the 30 minute mark but it doesn't surpass it then you're just gonna stay at that half hour mark um, I don't really you know increase it up so once you surpass that 30 minute mark is I just round up I only go in halves I don't try to do quarters and things like that it just it's complicated if you do it that way as far as your labor goes uh, but that's the scenario of why you would you know charge more hours uh, on a customer ticket guys now 
Here's an example that I actually just did earlier today uh, that actually inspired me making this video. Um, it's going to be reducing customer labor hours. Now, what I had in the shop earlier this morning is a Nissan Sentra. I believe it's a 2010. And um, a lot of you that are familiar with these Nissan Sentras, if your blower motor goes out and you have done one of these before, you will know exactly how big of a pain it can be. Um, I know some of you out there have probably pulled the dashboards out to get to them, or some of you have uh, tried sneaking it out through the bottom uh, driver's side. Um, the way that they want you to do this job is uh, particularly to remove the whole dashboard. If you look up Mitchell, All Data, uh, Nissan, Labor Time Hours, they all basically bill about six hours in labor, guys, because they expect you to remove the dashboard. That's what they're telling you to do. Now, I've worked on so many of these and I figured out shortcuts. The way I get to them is by removing the lower panel of the dash on the driver's side and then I remove a few things out of the way and I make myself enough room to get in there and remove the blower motor assembly. Uh, it's easy if you remove enough things out of the way it comes out. You don't have to disassemble the whole dash and rip it apart like they want you to. Now that job pays six hours plus parts. Um, when I did the initial estimate for this customer and the way I go about this is I'm gonna go ahead and estimate it based off of what book time is and parts value and everything and I think this total job was coming somewhere around eight or nine hundred bucks for the customer and although the customer was not happy, I explained to them the situation. They're like, okay, you know, I got to have heat in the car, so we're going to get it done. Um, I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and do it. Um, ordered the parts, you know, got the car in the shop, started working on it. Um, I got the car done in about three hours. Now, this is where a lot of people may uh, have their own little opinion and say, Mike, you've, you know, worked for a bunch of years. Your experience uh, is something that you've had to learn the hard way in most cases. So you should be building that customer for every bit of five hours uh, or six hours for that job. And I'm not against that. I completely agree. Um, I'm, I will advocate that a lot of mechanics guys can do stuff done, uh, can do stuff very quickly and get stuff done quickly because they have a lot of experience and they have a lot of tools. Now that experience comes with a price. Uh, they've you know probably spent countless hours learning or doing something the wrong way to learn to do it the right way. Uh, plus add in all the specialty tools and things like that that we buy to make life easier. Um, so most shops probably will just build you know six hours and not care. However, in my shop, you know, I try to look out for people. Um, if I have a customer that's consistently coming to me and, you know, I know them and I have your rapport, I don't mind helping them out. I'm not out here to hurt people, especially in today's economy. You know, I'm here to, you know, make a living and be able to be reasonable. And that's how I go about it. So in this scenario, guys, uh, even though Mitchell says somewhere around six hours, um, I got the job done in about three hours and I built a customer three hours for the job. And you guys should have seen their face when it came to pay for it. Uh, they were in utter shock, like, oh, wow, like how did the bill get reduced? And I explained to them and they were happy. Um, um, those are basically, uh, you know, two scenarios uh, there, guys. Um, a lot of shops, I will tell you this right off the bat, they're probably going to just be increasing labor times, not decreasing them. And if a job is, you know, really easy but pays a bunch of hours, they're just going to wind up billing you whatever it says it is and just get it done quickly and not discount. Uh, you're going to be very hard-pressed to find a shop that actually reduces uh, the labor time on their ticket off of what the face value of it is, whatever, you know, the programs say, whether it be Mitchell, All Data, or whatever. Uh, but I do this as an added benefit to help customers out. I, I'm not greedy, guys. If it took me three hours to do a job, I just build it three hours. Uh, I'm still making money, uh, and I get a happy customer, which in turn will cause me to even make more money because they're going to keep returning to me and tell their friends um, and everyone and their family. You know, So just you know, growing your business. Um, uh, this video is going to be pretty short guys uh, that pretty much sums up the topic of today but uh, I just wanted to mention you know uh, these two items and give you guys these examples because uh, you know sometimes it does happen out there and I wanted to you know give you guys a little bit of a uh, foreshadowing and foreground so you guys know why sometimes there has to be an hour or two added to labor and why sometimes it has to be reduced uh, and vice versa so hopefully you guys uh, found this video interesting I'd love to hear your comments on this uh, go ahead and uh, leave some comments down below guys um, so please comment like and subscribe it definitely helps the channel grow hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next video